Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here, continuing my trilogy of eBay purchased Galaxy Force slash Cybertron Autobot models with Dark Ligerjack, aka Nemesis Breaker. Nemesis Breaker, or Dark Ligerjack here, was a Takara Tomi exclusive to Toys R Us in Japan in 2006 as part of the Galaxy Force line. There was a Cybertron release as well, but that was more mass retail. I got this guy recently off eBay. As you can guess from the name, Nemesis, he is in fact a black, silver and teal with red accents repaint of Leo Breaker. Unfortunately, I do not currently possess the original Leo Breaker colour scheme for this mould. And I also do not have the Optimus to combine it with. I do, however, have Megatron, thanks to TF Nation. You'll see that in a moment. This is the Force Chip from the planet Animatron, or Animatros, the animal or jungle planet. This is actually a Force Chip, not a Cyber Key, because as you can see, this is Dark Liger Jacks. Jungle Planet, Cyber King or Force Chip. With this being the Takara version of the figure, it does not have a code on the back, as the Japanese Galaxy Force line did not have that feature in the toy line. Activating the key is just as simple as activating this slot on the forearms here, on both sides, and Wolverine claws pop out. Unfortunately, he can't quite balance in this pose, but at least you can have him swiping at his Autobot counterpart, Leo Breaker. Speaking of which, articulation is pretty decent for an animal former. You've got 360 degree ratcheted shoulders, outward arm movement, because of course being a beast former, the front legs become the arms in robot mode. Then you've got an elbow, slightly ratcheted, mushroom pain forearm swivel for robot mode, wrist and knuckle hinges, and a hinged thumb that can be used as a heel spur for the paws in lion mode. Pushing this button here causes the lion mode to roar and for jaw moves. For size comparisons, here is the American Cybertron Quick Mix with his mini comp partner Strip Mine. From a giant planet. Here is Deluxe Class Guard Shell, aka Landmine, from my last review. Giant Planet or Gigantion for Quick Mix, Jungle Planet or Animatross for Dark Liger Jack, and Earth or Gaia for Landmine. And finally, the pride of my TF Nation 2018 purchases, Galaxy Force Master Megatron.
As you can see, Megatron and Nemesis Breaker scale well together. We'll get back to him in a minute. Now then, because of the toy accurate animations for the stock footage transformation sequences of the Cybertron and Galaxy Force cartoons, I will not be demonstrating the transformation for anything from that line. Instead, I will be inserting the actual animation from the cartoon into the editing sequence. So... Real Breaker, four. So, I'll just edit in photographs. Getting in a closer look at the face, you can see that it very clearly resembles Overhaul, the bot that Leo Breaker used to be before he was reborn on the jungle planet. Hence sack with fangs because he's now a lion. I like how this flap of the mane becomes a bit of a ponytail somehow, and that it can hinge up to allow the head to move a bit. Articulation is pretty much the same as in lion mode. Ratcheted shoulders, stiff hinge outward movement, hinged elbows, ratcheted forearm swivel, and double hinged knuckles for hand posing. Four and back ratcheted hips with one click outwards. Very low down ratcheted knees. And the rear toes and the heel spurs are hinged as well. The tail, as you can see, becomes a whip, which can be held in the paw. And here is a group shot size comparison with Cybertron Quick Mix, Strip Mine, Landmine, aka Guard Shell, and Master Megatron. I say Master Megatron because, of course, the rubbery extremities are Skywarp Lavender as opposed to the same sort of Cadbury's purple on the fenders here as the Hasbro version was. Moving on, as mentioned in my review of Megatron, these two figures are specially designed to combine with each other in Dark Claw mode, because Nemesis Breaker was an evil clone of Leo Breaker formed from a black mist surrounding Megatron when he returned after being destroyed halfway through the cartoon series. Basically, he's the only bearer of the name Nemesis not to be an Optimus Prime repaint. Because Leo Breaker could combine with Optimus to form Savage Claw mode, Nemesis Breaker can do the same thing. In order to do that, just remove the whip, hide the robot head, Flip the feet forward, flip the heels back, reattach the forearms using this post here and this port on the underside of the paw. And 
the menus, they slide the joints and move it to one side or the other to accommodate whichever arm you want Nemesis Breaker to become. Making sure the shoulders are severely snapped into place. Then, with Megatron, as demonstrated with the Tidal Wave arm I used in the Megatron review, bring Megatron's fist back into the nose cone half, then bring it all the way up like this. Open up a flap on one side. Bring the shoulder in on itself to sink the arm into the chest. This is why he's hollow, by the way. Then snap that into place. Make sure the panels are properly located. And attach Nemesis Breaker as seen. The new forearm Arder Optimus having overload cannons over his shoulders was impossible to balance. This is why the Leo Breaker mold should have been a deluxe. I mean, I get why they did it as a Voyager for robot mode and line mode scale with the rest of the team, but come on, this is ridiculous. It looks horrible, it's all out of proportion, it just does not look good. Do better, Ta Takara. I don't know a single other reviewer that has ever said they would happily display their Optimus, Megatron, Leo Breaker and Nemesis Breaker figures in this configuration. Just as well Tidal Wave's arms are able to combine in this same pattern, otherwise it would not end well. And finally, here is the only way you'll ever see Megatron and Nemesis Breaker in toy form in a screen accurate combination. Because Nemesis Breaker was never seen in robot mode in the cartoon, aside from in the transformation to Dark Claw mode, so... It was always a big black, silver and teal lion, so... This is the way I'm going to keep my Nemesis Breaker displayed from now on, I reckon, with Robot Mode Megatron stood next to it, like, uh, well, pretty much any Soundwave and Ravage scene from a G1 cartoon, to be honest. So, this is Soundblaster1987, signing off, till all are one.